Here's an example of uh, a limit up market. This is uh, December corn um, that's limit up this morning. The market is open. Uh, the pit's open. Um, you can see here in the electronic market it is lock limit up and it is trading and this is what I wanted to show. One of the benefits that the footprint, only the footprint shows is that while we are locked limit up, here's the bid, this is how many are on the bid, almost 45,000 contracts, uh, you can see that it is trading. And so these are minute, one minute bars. I just opened the software, that's why you don't see any history beyond that. But you can see that while there's 40, almost 48,000 now bid, um, you can see it is trading. Now, not trading that much compared to how much is here, but it's interesting to be able to see this occur. So I'm just going to let this run here in real time. You can just watch how this how this works and what the what the footprint provides. Okay, so while you can see that uh, the market is limit bid for quite a few contracts, um, it is still trading every minute. There's some trades that come in and hit the bid. Um, for those who don't understand this at all, in the agricultural markets and some other markets, um, you have instances of limit up moves where the market can only move up so much, so many points. In this case, it's 40 cents and um, there's only a bid. While it shows an offer, it is not allowed to trade. It's limit up. And so... Um, it'll just continue to do like this and then the exchange does extend the limits um, in these in this case usually in the next day they'll expand the limits so it can trade at a wider range um, but it's interesting to note just how this how this is there's 53,000 contracts this is buyers there's 53,000 people at this price I, I shouldn't say people but contracts that want to buy it at this price um, and yet there's still some trading so uh, that's what this means it's what it looks like on the footprint you don't see this type of activity very much but it is one of the benefits of the footprint because what you can see is how much is bid and how much is actually trading on a minute by minute basis um, and if all of a sudden we started to see huge trading coming in here that tells you they're not just canceling these they're actually trading them they're hitting the bid and it might be one of those instances where it actually comes off limit bid and trades down. And for scalpers, that would provide a quick opportunity possibly just to get short, play a move off the limit bid. Um, and of course, it could go back limit bid, but it's, it is a scalping opportunity potentially. Okay, this is a few minutes later here, and the market did come off. You can see they began to really start hitting the bid, uh, as the footprint shows. Uh, they really began hitting, came off, went back up, hit it again, and then came off um, just about four cents, and now it's it's trading. This is real time. And we'll see, it may go back, limit bid. But clearly the 50,000 that were bid for weren't all good because not that many traded. But that's good to know. You wouldn't know that unless you had the footprint to really see how much uh, actually were tagged up at that, that high limit bid. So I'll go ahead and let this run another few minutes. We can watch, see what the market uh, activity is, how it behaves, as we're only a penny away from limit up again. All right, so obviously the market's just sitting here comfortably a few cents below limit uh, limit bid. Um, and we could obviously watch this all day, but um, at least you've seen what it looked like limit bid. And we've captured a little bit of this uh, this move lower. And now only only time will tell.